Okay, so every four months, <coughs> I'm actually pull out my generator, which is a Ryobi generator. And then I let it run for a few minutes just to be sure in case I need it, uh, I can use it right away. And that's what we are gonna do now. Okay, so, and I'm actually doing this just for one reason. So if I need it, I actually know that it's still working and running. And the model of this one, it's a Ryobi RYI 4022 VNM. Now you see the start instructions here. So we put it on cold start. And now let's just see, maybe we need to pump some gasoline in. running and I do that every four months just to be sure in case I need it it's uh, running it's actually a pretty good thing and I'm using that with a so-called transfer switch and I'll show you that real quick so I hook a cable here and then I actually can hook it up here which I already showed in another video and that's the so-called transfer switch but the topic of today's video is just maintaining your generator so in case you need it you know it's up and running and I would do that like every four months or so and then you just can be sure that it's still functioning and working and well that's all that's actually the whole purpose of that video just to let you know that you should not just put it in your garage or barn and then if there is no power outage hopefully that you never use it so i would just power it up every few months ever so often as always thanks for watching